This album has been over five years in the making. It was born out of an experience that I had years ago where I did not feel welcomed, and it was very clear that I wasn't. Adding, the criticisms I faced when I first entered this genre forced me to propel past the limitations that were put on me. The 32-time Grammy-winning megastar says that experience pushed her to take a deeper dive into the history of country music. Welcome to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Beyonce has always been a game-changer in the music industry. She has defied expectations, broken down borders, and transcended genres. But even someone as well-known as her has trouble being recognized in other areas. Black women in particular face difficulties in the country music industry, which is one of those areas. Beyonce's participation in this genre has drawn attention to a more serious issue, the underrepresentation of black women in the country music business. The publication of her album Cowboy Carter in March raised awareness of this problem. Being the first album by a black woman to debut at the top of both the Billboard Country Music Chart and the Hot 100 Chart was an incredible accomplishment. However, Beyoncé was overlooked by the Country Music Awards despite her accomplishments. She did not receive a single nomination, leaving many to wonder why. It appears that the way the industry views black women holds the key to the solution. Even though Beyoncé performed flawlessly, it wasn't enough. What more does a black woman in country music have to do to gain recognition? Cowboy Carter was not merely a record that topped the charts. It was a demonstration. Using the album as a platform, Beyonce spoke out against the treatment of people of color, who are sometimes overlooked but over-policed. The name of the album, Cowboy Carter, was no coincidence. Beyonce encouraged others to research the origins of the term cowboy. She clarified in an interview with GQ magazine. I asked everyone to look up the definition of a cowboy for a minute. Black people made up to 25% of all cowboys. Even though they constituted the backbone of the cattle industry, these men faced a world that did not regard them as equals. Slaves who cared for cows are the real originators of the phrase cowboy. They were treated like boys and never showed the deference they merited. A black man working with cows would never be addressed as Mr. or Sir. It was Beyonce's deliberate choice to title the album Cowboy Carter. She was taking back a portion of history that had been overlooked or forgotten. She was bringing attention to the role that African Americans played in the cowboy culture, which is inextricably linked to the character of country music. The record is quite intimate. It is a mirror of Beyonce's encounters with rejection. She gave a joint performance at the 2016 Country Music Awards with the Dixie Chicks. The retaliation came quickly. She was criticized for not being country enough. However, Beyonce posed a crucial query in one of her songs, asking, If that's not country, tell me, what is? About Beyonce's new music that makes it country. I think the uh, topic of her lyrics, it's very country-centered, so even if the beat isn't necessarily a traditional country beat. You know, country music's for everybody. It's for Beyonce. Before going any further, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We appreciate that so much. Her rustic roots are reflected in the lyrics of her song, American Requiem. Beyonce sings, They used to say I spoke to country. Then the rejection came, saying I wasn't country enough. Liquor in my hand, the grandbaby of a moonshine man, Gadsden, Alabama, got folk down Galveston, rooted in Louisiana. Her indignation at being told she doesn't belong in a genre that her roots are in is highlighted in these lines. Her family is from the South, and she has strong ties to the regions that country music frequently honors. However, she was informed that she was not involved. The issue facing the country music industry is not one of skill. Every music critic who reviewed Beyoncé's album gave it high marks. It received overwhelmingly positive feedback. People adored it. However, the mainstream of country music did not. Those who disagreed with that world said nothing. Additionally, numerous radio stations declined to broadcast her music when asked to. We do not play Beyoncé, 
as we are a country music station, stated a clear Oklahoman station. Rejection of this nature is not new, particularly for artists of color. We embrace it when white musicians like Lady Gaga, Bon Jovi, and Justin Timberlake dabble in country music. They don't get the same flack. Taylor Swift, who began her career in country music, received recognition for introducing the genre to a younger, pop-oriented audience. She was never told she didn't belong. However, the rules alter when black performers like Beyonce enter the scene. A dual standard is in place. Women who identify as black or brown in particular are not afforded the same latitude to explore. They encounter hostility or, worse, complete disregard. Beyoncé's exclusion from the Country Music Awards is just the latest example of it. This is something that Beyoncé discussed in an interview with GQ magazine. She declared, Since the beginning of time, black and other artists of color have been producing and perfecting works in various genres. When they break the mold, some of the most gifted artists never receive the recognition they so well deserve from the general public.